This short video provides a high-level overview of the Repatha pre-filled syringe. It is not intended for use as an instructional video. Prior to using the pre-filled syringe, read the entire patient instructions for use, which are provided in the product box. This video shows you how to inject Repatha with a single-use pre-filled syringe. We will call it a syringe for the rest of this video. We're going to briefly review each of the injection steps. Prepare, get ready, inject, and finish. For complete injection and storage information, please see the instructions for use available on this website. Before we begin, it's important that you do not inject yourself unless your healthcare provider has shown you how. If someone else is giving you the injection, he or she should also be trained first. If you're still not sure how to use the pre-filled syringe, contact your doctor or call Repatha Ready at 1-844-REPATHA. Okay, let's get started. First, it's important to store Repatha the right way. That means keeping it refrigerated in its original box. Don't freeze or shake it. And remember to keep Repatha out of children's reach like you would with any medicine. To start, take a syringe carton out of the refrigerator at least 30 minutes before injecting for a more comfortable injection. Let it reach room temperature naturally. It may take longer to inject if Repatha is cold. While you're waiting, you can spend the time catching up on the things you want to do. After the 30 minutes are up, it's time to get ready for your injection. Make sure you've washed your hands. Next, choose a comfortable spot with plenty of light. Gather all of your injection supplies and place them on a clean, flat work surface. Now, choose where you want to inject. You can use your thigh or your stomach, except for the two inches around the belly button. If someone else is giving you the injection, he or she can also use the outer area of your upper arm. Choose a different site each time you give yourself an injection. If you do need to use the same injection site, just make sure it's not in the same spot on that site you used last time, and always avoid areas where the skin is bruised or hard. Now, let's get ready to inject. We're going to show you how to inject in your stomach, but if you want to see how to inject in other areas, check out the instructions for use on this website. All right, first, clean the injection site with an alcohol wipe. Let it dry, and don't touch this area again until you're ready to inject. Next, peel the paper off the tray and place the tray on your hand, like this. Then turn the tray over and gently press the back of the tray with your other hand. The syringe should pop out from the tray onto your hand. Be careful not to pick up the syringe by the plunger rod or gray cap. Always hold the syringe by the barrel. Don't remove the gray cap just yet. Next, look at the medicine in the syringe window. It should be clear and colorless, but it's okay if the medicine is slightly yellow. Next, check the expiration date. You don't want to use an expired syringe. Look for any cracks. Check that the gray cap is in place, securely attached. Never use a syringe that's cracked, missing the gray cap, or was dropped onto a hard surface. If you have any questions about using your pre-filled syringe, call your doctor, pharmacy, or 1-844-REPATHA. Hold the syringe by the barrel and pull the gray cap straight up and off away from your body, like this. If you see a drop of liquid at the end of the needle, that's okay. Be sure to put the gray cap into your Sharps disposal container right away. All right, now pinch your skin between your thumb and fingers to create a firm injection surface. Keep holding the pinch as you insert the needle into your skin at a 45 to 90 degree angle. See, like this. Using slow, constant pressure, push the plunger all the way down until the syringe is empty. You may have to push the plunger harder than for other injectable medications you may have taken. Now lift your thumb off the plunger and gently lift the syringe off your skin. That's it, you're done injecting. 
always put the used syringe into a puncture-resistant container. Never reuse a syringe or recap a needle. You never want to put the used syringe into the trash or recycle bin. Once you've properly disposed of your syringe, check your injection site. If you have a little bleeding, press a cotton ball or gauze on the injection site. Just be careful not to rub it. You can put a bandage on it if you need to. One last thing to keep in mind. If you need FDA-cleared disposal containers, you can get them from your local pharmacy. Puncture-resistant disposal containers with mailback service are also available from Repatha Ready. Just call 1-844-REPATHA. Wherever you get your puncture-resistant disposal containers, be sure to keep them out of children's reach. It's also important to get rid of your full disposal container the right way. Local and state laws may require you to follow certain rules. Do not dispose of your used Sharps disposal container in your household trash unless your community guidelines permit this. Do not recycle your used Sharps disposal container. For more information about proper needle disposal in your area, contact your local health department or your local trash removal service, or check out the FDA's website listed on screen. You're all done. Remember, if you have any questions about injecting, read the instructions for use, or contact your doctor, nurse, or pharmacist, or call the nurses at Repatha Ready at 1-844-REPATHA. What is Repatha? Repatha is an injectable prescription medicine used in adults with cardiovascular disease to reduce the risk of heart attack, stroke, and certain types of heart surgery. Along with diet alone, or together with other cholesterol-lowering medicines in adults with high blood cholesterol levels called primary hyperlipidemia, including a type of high cholesterol called heterozygous familial hypocholesterolemia to reduce low-density lipoprotein, LDL, or bad cholesterol. Important safety information. Do not use Repatha if you are allergic to Evolocumab or to any of the ingredients in Repatha. Before you start using Repatha, tell your healthcare provider about all your medical conditions, including if you are allergic to rubber or latex, are pregnant or plan to become pregnant, or are breastfeeding or plan to breastfeed. The needle covers on the single-use pre-filled syringes contain dry natural rubber. Tell your healthcare provider or pharmacist about any prescription and over-the-counter medicines, vitamins, or herbal supplements you take. What are the possible side effects of Repatha? Repatha can cause serious side effects, including serious allergic reactions. Stop taking Repatha and call your healthcare provider or seek emergency help right away if you have any of these symptoms. Trouble breathing or swallowing, raised bumps, hives, rash or itching, swelling of the face, lips, tongue, throat, or arms. The most common side effects of Repatha include runny nose, sore throat, symptoms of the common cold, flu or flu-like symptoms, back pain, high blood sugar levels, diabetes, and redness, pain, or bruising at the injection site. Tell your healthcare provider if you have any side effect that bothers you or that does not go away. These are not all the possible side effects of Repatha. Ask your healthcare provider or pharmacist for more information. Call your healthcare provider for medical advice about side effects. You are encouraged to report negative side effects of prescription drugs to the FDA. Visit www.fda.gov medwatch or call 1-800-FDA-1088. Please see full prescribing information, 